Not even a year ago, if you would have asked me would I ever buy a Grand Seiko, I would have said no. I promised myself I wouldn't get sucked into the Hodinkee hype about Grand Seiko or a higher end Seiko. I never understood why people love Grand Seiko so much. I thought to myself, why would I buy Seiko or a higher end Seiko for JLC money? Fast forward one year and I handled my first Grand Seiko. Needless to say, it struck an emotion in me that I haven't felt in a long time when it came to watches. I've been a collector for 7 years. And to be very honest with you guys, I don't remember the last time I felt mesmerized when I held a watch. Oh and by the way, that watch I handled was the Snowflake, so you can easily understand why. The dial on that Snowflake was mesmerizing. I remember holding it for an uncomfortable amount of time when I was at my AD and he probably was getting anxious the more I held it because I probably held it for almost 10 minutes just staring at that dial. That's the time I knew that Grand Seiko was something special. Today's episode is sponsored by Exquisite Timepieces, which is actually where I got this watch. So if you want any Grand Seiko or you just want to check out their website, check out Exquisite Timepieces. They're an authorized dealer for Grand Seiko and they're also an authorized dealer for a lot of brands like Omega, Breguet, and many more. So make sure you check them out. And if you do, let them know that you found out about them from this channel and they'll make a really good deal for you. The SBGW is a 37 millimeter hand wound watch featuring one of the finest mechanical movements made in the house of Grand Seiko. An extremely pure cream dial with markers so shiny, it makes up for the simplicity. The Zeratu polishing on this watch is so finely executed, it's unreal in the metal. I'll show you guys a little test I have in a little bit, so stay tuned for that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been slowly becoming obsessed with manual wine watches. There's something extremely therapeutic about waking up in the morning and hand winding your watch. It almost feels like a morning ritual. Although this dial is extremely simple, it has sort of a matte cream dial which is actually extremely beautiful in the metal. Those markers when it hits the light perfectly and it really captures the light, it really looks beautiful. Now, allow me to share with you guys this beautiful movement. This is the Caliber 9S64. It's a mechanical hand-wound movement introduced in 2011. The 9S64 movement is a finely finished manual wind movement with a 3-day power reserve. Yes, 3 days. Not only does it keep impeccable time to the last second of those 3 days, but it keeps time from plus 3 to minus 5 per day, which is the industry standard. The balanced spring is actually made out of a highly shock resistant anti-magnetic alloy. I absolutely love this movement and my only problem with this movement is I never know how much power reserve I have left. The polishing on this case is called Zeratu polishing, which in a nutshell is a special way Grand Seiko polish their cases to give it a mirror-like shine as you guys can see here. I put it under a really cool knife and the case kind of contours to that. The watch is absolutely stunning on the wrist. Usually I have something negative to say about every watch. If you guys watch my reviews, you'll know that there's not a single video that goes by without me mentioning at least one negative. I guess my only negative in this watch is the fact that I don't know when the power reserve is dying out. With all that being said, for me personally, this watch is absolute perfection. Now, today's question comes from Paul. Could you speak about the availability of Grand Seiko services? I don't know much about it, but I've heard some bad things. First, I'd like to say thank you for the question. And also, I want to remind you guys that before I post any review, I always post a picture where I take your questions and I answer them in every review. So make sure you have that notification button on so you don't miss it. Now, to be very honest with you, that's actually why I went with Exquisite Timepieces or any AD you go to. I would personally recommend that you buy from an AD the Grand Seiko, and I don't know how much I would recommend buying it pre-owned because I went with an authorized dealer because I've also seen some bad reports about their services. But if you can buy from an authorized dealer that you trust, then you can always take the watch back to them and they will handle all the services. I can't speak for Grand Seiko services themselves, but if you have an authorized dealer that you trust, they're gonna take care of you. But guys, I wanted to thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go check out Exquisite Timepieces. I'm gonna have all their links down in the description below. And guys, make sure you comment down below what your favorite Grand Seiko is and what you think about this watch. Guys, I will see you in the next one.